welcome back to the channel guys in this video i will be showing you something related to sharepoint uh, something that i've come across many times where users within an organization try to share a document a folder with people outside of their organization so basically external users uh, and they are not able to generate a link that can be shared with anyone uh, which can be frustrating sometimes so that is why I just wanted to show you a quick fix uh, places where these places where the sharing aspect is controlled and what we can modify in a, in order to enable that anyone share link so that the users can share it it is not the best security practice uh, and the security the most secure way to do it i will show you in another video but just wanted to make you familiarize with the options and the access control aspect of sharepoint and the sites so yeah let's get started i'm gonna switch over to the uh, sharepoint admin center here so you can see i'm already logged into my test tenant uh, and i am at the sharepoint admin center so you can get to it from the 365 admin center and you just click on sharepoint down at the bottom and it opens up the admin center for sharepoint in a new tab and i already have a test site that i was just looking at before started recording this video so it's basically called test and if i visit it uh, through its link you would see there is only one folder which is called test folder so now a user is working on it and they want to share it with someone outside doesn't matter what what sort of account they have they could have a gmail account they could have an imap account they just want to generate a link and share it with the people so how you would do that is by just clicking on the share icon and you would click on you, you would enter the person email and sometime you won't even do that you would just click on settings and you would select any one option here which is currently grayed out and you would have hit apply and it will generate a link for you that others or people outside of this organization can access but as you can see users would run into this problem where the anyone option would be grayed out uh, so how to fix that how do we enable it uh, that's what I'm going to show you in this video so we'll close that and we'll go back to the admin center and I just quickly wanted to show you the two places where these sharing options are controlled from the first would be at the organizational level uh, so if I go to policies and go to sharing uh, this is the organizational level settings and you can see there is it's divided into two OneDrive, which is the personal OneDrive of a user and the SharePoint. Uh, in this case, since we're talking about SharePoint, I will be mostly, you know, talking about this slider here. And on the right side, you can see anyone new and existing, existing guest, only people in your organizational, most permissive to least permissive. So most uh, restrictive to least restrictive. That's what it means. And basically this is where you control the settings for the organizational level so this takes precedent over the next settings which is going to be the site level settings so if i go to active sites and go back to that test site and under settings you would see for external file sharing you have all these options and the anyone option is enabled or it's visible to you and you can pick and save that so I just updated the external file sharing option to anyone and saved it and it says changes saved. Now if I go back to that site again and if I try sharing it again, you would notice that the anyone option is now green and you can pick it. You can set a password, you can apply expiration on that link, you can set it to view edit if they can download it or not. I'm just going to leave it to default and hit apply and let's click on copy the link and we have the link copied if I bring up a notepad 
that is the link that you would share with the person outside of your organization